what the f*** is stopping us from just throwing ourselves off a bridge and giving up and saying, yeah, the planet is dying, the government hates us, the animals are leaving, the aliens aren't contacting us, we might be alone, it just might be you and me, but that's okay, because you really need anyone else. You're welcome. It's that easy. All I have to do, snap my fingers, market comes back. Look, I know you were getting a little bit anxious there for a second. Last few months, you've come on here and be like, wow, Alex, all your calls, they go up like 8x. How do you do this? Super, Beam, Miria, Paid Network, Cedify, the list is endless. You've just been coming here and you guys have been getting way too spoiled. It's been a literal bukkake of gains just coming to this channel and copying me. And... Look, I've been reading Twitter. You guys have been getting just a little bit too cocky. I didn't want you guys to think for a second that all your gains have anything to do with you. Going to Christmas, going to Thanksgiving, telling your family what a successful crypto trader you are. Look, let's get real. Any success you have in crypto is 100% due to me. I am the greatest crypto trader of all time. I am the most famous, most popular, best voted, best looking crypto influencer since the creation of YouTube. And I had to take a step back to remind you guys who daddy is, who's in control, put you back in your toddler chair and say it's time for a timeout, it's time to give the gains a break. But alas, I think you've learned your lesson. I think you ate your pie of humble stew as the market's been flat the last few months. So I did something for you. I called up BlackRock, I called up Elon Musk, I called up Hannah Montana, the big dog. I even got Jay Leto involved. Man, that guy loves a good pump and dump in crypto. He loves to pump the market, then he likes to dump it hard. And I said, guys, I, the master of crypto, am now deeming you, now giving you permission to get back into the market. They all got back in, and I am restarting the market. In this video, in this video, I want to talk about what's about to happen next, because I think there's a big move about to happen in the market. I think the next leg is coming, and this reminds me a lot of what happened in 2019. And if you aren't prepared for how things are going to rotate from Bitcoin into altcoins, into and the embarrassing coins that we invest in this channel. Lock yourself in a closet and cry for a week. Those coins that we invest in this channel, I think they're gonna move bigly. Five, 10 X's, it's gonna be juicy. So without further ado, let's get into the low quality content you've come to adore <laughs> on this terrible, terrible uh, crypto slash whatever the f is going on on my YouTube channel. Let's, let's get into this. So. Let's head over to coin market cap. Now, like always, I'm gonna talk about some projects I think are gonna do really well here and have not moved yet. What we're seeing is a really similar move to something I've seen before in the market. And frankly, I timed this one really well. I might toot my horn a little bit in this video. I realize I never do that in videos. I'm a very humble guy, very self-aware, but I have to toot my horn a little bit here in a sec. That being said, I think we're about to see a really big move in the market the next leg up. And if that happens, we're going to see these other projects that move last start to move right after this. And so we have to time ourselves well here or just do absolutely nothing if you've been with the channel since last year. All of our holds are already doing well. You just have to hold them more deeper into the bull if we're having a bull right now. We need to talk about the market right now, where it's going and the overall market like we always do. So if you don't know what's going on, well, first you should follow me on Twitter at ZSS Becker. You would have gotten so many faster updates on what's happening in the crypto market and new projects. You'd know a lot of things I'm gonna talk about in this video already. So follow me on Twitter. Also follow me on Instagram at 4 a.m. Becker if you wanna see pictures of me um, uh, eating food. It's, it's a great place to be. So what's going on in the market right here? If, if you're involved in crypto, I think you, you've already noticed there's a, a big move coming, okay? And so I actually bought about $500,000 worth of Bitcoin right here, just long-term hold investment. I'm not trying to time or trade the market. Whenever I buy Bitcoin, it's just like, hey, if the end of the world happens, I have a big chunk of Bitcoin stash that I just hide away. However, that does allow me to claim a lot of clout because almost moments after I did that, the entire market shut up. So if you ever had a conspiracy theory that Alex Becker controls the market like Mr. Nimbus controls the police, well, confirmed. You can go tell your grandfather. I don't know who you're going to inform about that. And hopefully this continues. Also on that note, like always, guys, read this disclaimer. I am gambling here. This is not financial advice. This is extremely risky. I think you're going to lose all your money. All right, I think this has like a 60% chance of happening. And if it doesn't, we're really going to take it on the chin. So please do not take this as financial advice. This is just you watching a guy in his garage screaming. 
poop jokes, gambling on the internet. On top of that, a lot of the projects and coins I mention, I am invested in or I advise and consult for. Why is that? Well, I tend to talk about things I like and invested in on this channel, and I like to advise projects I'm invested in so they get bigger. So of course I'm incentivized to talk about things I hold a lot of. So if you don't like that, you don't like risk, and you wanna take this channel as superior, coherent financial advice, you should probably move on. For the rest of you that are pieces of like me, let's, let's get back into our dirty habit here. So like I said before, I really think we're seeing a similar move to what we saw all the way back here in 2020, okay? So 2020, here is the big old COVID dip. Now, if we zoom in, and I learned how to use coin market cap. All right, so we zoom in right here, went down like 5,000 bucks. I actually nailed this back then, just stupid dumb luck. But what happened is Bitcoin just climbed and climbed and climbed and climbed and it went and climbed up to about 20,000 right here. And I just remember at this time, I had no idea what I was doing, but I was just like, it's going higher, it's going higher. And I remember I got in the CT at this time and everyone was like, oh, this is it, this is, this is the end, this has been the bull market. And everybody just kind of sat on edge for these months right here. You can see like we, we had a good two months of just nothingness and it going down and up. And then the bull market actually started. And what I think we're seeing right now is that exact same thing. What do you base this on, Alex? It is pulled strictly from my nether regions and my jellies, which have really been, they have a pretty good track record. My jellies, that said, enough of that. I'm not here to pick on Cardano. They got enough problems, you know, like being forced to live under their staircase like Harry Potter and having to eat hemorrhoid cream because no one in the house will give them food. But we're not here to beat them up. We're not here to remind them of their failed marriage. We're not here to remind them that their gains have just been terrible in this bull run while everybody else is banking. We're not here to do that. That would be low on this channel to pick on men that are four foot nine tall with acorn sized penises. We're not gonna do that here. We are self-aware, we are tolerant, and cuckolding is a perfectly acceptable thing in these times. So we're not gonna pick on, we want them to feel accepted. We want them, their wife, and their wife's boyfriend to feel accepted and loved on this channel because this is a safe place. So we're not gonna do that in this channel today. We're gonna be very mature. So that said, what does this move mean? What are we going to get out of this move? So you can see right here, Bitcoin really started to move around uh, December 20th of this time frame right here. And when Bitcoin starts to move, you have to understand that Ethereum and the altcoins right underneath it are probably going to start to move slightly after that. So if we go look at when Bitcoin really starts move, you can see that Ethereum really starts move about 10 days after Bitcoin. Okay. And then it really went into its bull market. You know, it was pretty much dead and flat during this entire time. And then it really started to move. If you consider dead and flat being a 2x. But you know, we're not here to be accurate or, or really provide good content in this channel. So we'll just use good enough numbers. With that being said, the coins that were around at the time, Cardano, oddly enough, being a really good example of this, you can see that Cardano really didn't start to move until January, and then it really moved. It really moved, it went to $3, and then all the manlets lost all their money. Okay, so there's your Cardano history lesson. That's why they have to live off hemorrhoid cream. I don't know how they are able to digest it. Their, their stomachs are like that of a cockroach. If the world ever ends, gets hit with a nuclear bomb, Cardano holders are gonna be all that's left because they could just raid stores, all the food will be gone, but they'll just be living off the hemorrhoid cream. It's creepy, man, it's weird, but you know, you gotta, you gotta respect people for their talent. You can see though that Cardano really started moving right after Bitcoin started moving. So if we get like the true Bitcoin bull, okay? So I'm gonna do what I'm well known for, well known for on the internet, perfectly calling Bitcoin. I'm terrible at calling Bitcoin. That being said, what's been going on in the market right now, why we've had a little bit of a dip is Grayscale and some other firms or whatnot have just been dumping their coins relentlessly. But the ETF came into place and BlackRock and everybody is buying it now almost equally as much as it's being sold. And as soon as these guys stop dumping, it's just gonna keep going up like the stock market right now. There's just too much excess money sidelined. If, if you look at all the money that's sidelined on the planet right now, it's just absurd. So much money is just left in mar uh, money markets because everybody thinks we're getting a recession. I do think a recession is coming. I don't know when. What I do think we're going to see, my theory, is we're going to see a face melting, you know, take your shirt off, wave your dick in the air bull market, uh, followed by just a terrible de recession, just horrible depression. The things that are going on financially in the world right now make no sense. It's, it's, it's goofy. We're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about making money off of this, this bull run. 
So if we do see a bull run here, I, I think Bitcoin is easily crossing $100,000. I think 150,000, heck, even 200,000 on the table. We really got to start looking at the signs when it comes here. I'm not calling any tops right now. I'm just saying I think Bitcoin is going way higher. And I think it's going to continue going way higher with people adding it to their ETFs. I think it's just going to be a part of so many people's portfolios. And it's going to follow the stock market up. And what's then going to happen is all the altcoins, especially the newer altcoins I'm going to talk about in this video, are just going to chase it on up. And so what we need to be doing right now is, yeah, Bitcoin's pumping. Yeah, Ethereum's about to pump. Yeah, the animals are leaving. But we really need to be thinking what's next. Because you can see Bitcoin's moving right now. And you're going to see, if we come down here, AVAX, which is one of the top coins I like to look at in this bull run if we're going to get one. Uh, I, I think Solana is going to do really well as well. But I think AVAX, if we're looking in like the top 10, I think it's going to give the best returns. You can see it's just starting to move. It's up like 3%. Bitcoin's making five, probably about a 10% move here soon. AVAX and the coins underneath it are about to really start moving. And so what we need to do, I'm not going to talk too much about Bitcoin and Ethereum rotation theory. That said, I would suggest you watch my micro cap buying video because you're going to see how money rotates in and out of the market and how you get ahead of things. This is how you make a lot of money in crypto by going and watching when Bitcoin moves and then buying based on the behavior that Bitcoin influences. At least that's what I do. What we need to now do is start positioning ourselves if we have not positioned ourselves or if, if you're already holding, which you should already be doing if you've been with the channel for a while, just keep holding. You can add to your positions if you want. I'm not here to give you permission. I've been investing in a lot of seeds and, and new projects, but a lot of my old holds, I'm just holding. I haven't sold anything. And the biggest buy I've made recently is just Bitcoin for just long-term 10-year hold. Hopefully it's a million dollars in 10 years like everybody says it's going to be. If not, I'm going to act like I sold the top. Don't, don't worry. I got my crypto influencer routine. It's on point. Never make mistakes ever. But I want to talk about just some obvious moves I see coming in the market and where I think we're going to see giant returns. I don't want to make like a 30 coin video this time around. I will make a micro cap video if the market really starts moving. And I think we're getting really, really close. This could go right back down. If we break like 55,000, 50,000 anytime soon, I might make a little smaller micro cap video. But I want to talk about kind of bigger, chunkier coins right now. And I'll talk about a few early projects I'm looking at. But a lot of my smaller coin holds haven't changed. You can watch the last video, but there's some projects I think you really need to be aware of that are going to move. So if I were starting anywhere off right now, or you're just getting in this market and you've completely FOMOing in right now, the place I would start at is, of course, AVAX. I think, a I think Solana is going to do really well, too. But I think AVOX is just going to deliver bigger returns. So if uh, Solana right here, I could see Solana doing a 5, 8x. AVAX then will probably do like a 10, 12. Um, it, it, I could see it going really, really far from here. I think Chainlink as well is going to do really well. Chainlink, in my opinion, is probably the most useful thing in all of crypto. Uh, it's one of the things where the use case actually work. If we look at everything, like even starting at Ethereum, Ethereum is broken. Like if it was a convenience store where you walk in and we're like saying, this is the future convenience stores. You walk in this convenience store and the, the, the guy behind the cash register is naked. He's peeing on the walls and like water bottles there that should be a dollar are like $500. And then there's just a turd in the corner and like the turds animated, like it's alive and it gets up and starts throwing stuff at you and then steals your wallet and runs away. And then you leave the convenience store covered in crap, having seen a plump man naked behind the register with your wallet stolen and a hundred dollar bottle of water that you can't afford. This, this is, it just doesn't feel like the future of convenience stores, if you ask me. It seems almost like a bad shopping experience. That's kind of what it's like to use Ethereum, and it always has been. I don't see how something that has cost hundreds and billions of dollars of waste in, in just our small community is the future. But let's, let's ignore that, because this is crypto, and we just really want to look at the Ponzi scheme nomics behind it. So in that case, Ethereum does great. It's, it has a fantastic, super-duper Ponzi nomics behind it. They're burning it. They're scarcity. You have to spend $500 to send it to someone. It's great at that. So I think Ethereum's going to go up. Don't get me wrong. The thing is, you have to understand all of these, all the way down the chain link, don't do anything. No one's using them for anything. I mean, people are using Ethereum to trade pictures of monkeys, but, you know, there really isn't much action going on on any of these besides trading. So this is all just hypothetical stuff. Chainlink is really needed and used. Like, it, it works. It's essential to crypto. So... I think Chainlink is going to finally have its day, but the Pumponomics and Ponzi-nomics behind Chainlink just aren't nearly as exciting as all these other coins. So 
you know, it's been kind of ignored. I think someday when people actually start using crypto, this thing's going to go nuts. So I'd be stocking up on Chainlink. It's like the one responsible thing you can do uh, that I'll ever talk about on this channel. All right. So where I'm going to come down to next, and I think we just need to look at this, is, is IMX. So IMX is kind of the chain for gaming it does so much more on top of that. And I think Chainlink is going to come up and at least run to, so AVEX can go to like a 30 million, 50 million. I mean, look at the market cap of Solana last run. If we wanted to see where like AVEX can get to. So Solana got to about a $75 billion market cap last bull run. And it wasn't even like the biggest coin. So we could easily see AVEX go and pull like an 8X from here to there. But we could also see IMX right here, it's a really strong coin with a really strong narrative. We could see that going up to, you know, 30, 36. And so I think we really, like, if I'm building just a good old fashioned, bird out there, I'm playing safe and conservative while gambling kind of profile, I would just go straight up AVAX, Chainlink, and where did it go? Where is it? I mean, IMX, that's just what I would do. Now, Right under that, if I want way bigger gains, what I'd be just looking at right now, and I think is about to start making this really big move, you see it about to move right now, is Beam. The infrastructure this provides for gaming, the amount of things that are being built on it right now, with how hot crypto gaming is going, with their marketing, with their narrative, I think this is going to be almost like a big surprise run right here. You can see right now the market cap is a billion, but the fully diluted market cap is also close to a billion. This is phenomenal. Usually when we look at these coins, they have like huge fully diluted market caps. This means there isn't anything for huge investors to dump on this. So it just has a runway to take off. And I think this is going to pull up right underneath IMX or get to the same market cap as IMX. I, I, I think it's still really underrated. So I think if I'm going with like my more like Let's go, let's actually put some money down on Red 16. This is where I'm gonna start at. And then right underneath that, I'm gonna go with Super because they're partnered with all of them and their market cap is way lower, okay? And you can see also the fully dollar market cap is only about a 2X from here. There isn't some giant chunk of investors waiting to dump on everybody. It's in a really good spot from where it was a few years ago when the, the, the fully diluted market cap was huge, okay? A lot of the investors, the original people that came in have, have backed out right here. But what Elliott has done in what they're doing and turning into a layer, and universal infrastructure that all gaming projects land on. It's not just like a game studio or a launch pad anymore. What they've done with the coin is basically make it integrate with every single project in the space and give layer infrastructure to every project in the space and has every project in the space already partnered with them. Ellie is by far the most networked battle hardened founder in crypto, I think right now. An entire point of this project and how it's gonna do well is through network, which he's he's already got everybody big on board. I think this could actually get to IMX and beam like levels. And so that's why super is probably my biggest hold right now. I think in this next bull run, I think it's gonna run bull run or not, just like every coin is going to do. But once gaming starts to take off, once the narrative, once the infrastructure actually becomes in demand, I think it's going to go nuclear. And I think this will be a multi-billion dollar coin. It has the potential to at least. And so I have a massive hold in super. And if the market starts moving, I think I, I'm not calling prices. I hate giving exact numbers because people are like, oh, he said it's going to go to $1.50. That's when I bought or sold. But it's going to keep going up from here. And I'm really confident in super. Now, you guys really know my gaming projects holds. I'm not really going to talk about all the projects in gaming that I hold right now. There's a few additions I've made, such as Heroes as Mavia. Uh, I talked about this. You, you should have been on Twitter. I talked about this a few days ago. I really was worried about supporting it or, or promoting it too much at the IDO because usually people get torn up in here. But this thing has just kept performing right here and has such a strong narrative in crypto right now. Um, I think it's going to keep running turbo hard. And look, the diluted market cap, I'm, I'm not a fan of this right now, but we have a good amount of time before the original investors get all their funds unlocked to start selling it. So I think this could really keep running. I think it's gonna be a really strong coin because it has so many people playing it right now. It has a really strong narrative. I think it has the capability to enter into the top 10 in gaming if it's not already there with that market cap. Now, another coin that I'm really looking at right now is Shrapnel. It has the same issue with the, the diluted market cap that you saw with Mavia. But the thing is, I think this thing is getting just as much as attention like Mavia. So I think a 3X or a 4X here, pre-bull, pre-barket, I think is totally possible for Shrapnel as well. This amount of tension I'm seeing on social media with it, I think it really has yet to start running. So the market I really want to focus on right now, though, is going to be the AI and data market. 
so again, like I said, if you want to see all my other holds, they're in the other videos. I've talked about them a whole lot. I don't want to list them out. I want to give you some new things in this video. I really think you need to start digging down and applying the microcap strategies I talked about in my microcap buying video into the AI market. I've only really started to tap into this right here, but I think AI in general markets is about to start doing really well again. I'm using a lot of, or moving into a lot of AI stuff at my current tech company that I own. And I think the demand for servers, processing, everything is about to explode. And it tags into crypto like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It just works really, really well together. So of course, one of the ones I talked about last video and still a huge, massive fun, fan of is PAL. Okay, this is one of my bigger investments in AI. I think with the market cap right now, it's still really low. And I think this thing could run easily to a billion dollar market cap with the AI narratives coming up. So I'm really, I'm all about PAL. We're using a lot of chat bots, a lot of custom messaging and, and moving into that at my company. And I'm just seeing such a huge demand for this. And I think, again, running it via tokens and crypto infrastructure just makes sense. That said, there's so many projects on here that I think you can dig into, and it's not really as hyped up as gaming is right now. Anything that's good in gaming, people have really picked up on really quickly. That said, when it comes to data, there is one other coin coming up called Stream that I think you should look into. And there's another coin that's seeing the market pretty soon called GPU that I'm really interested in. But the thing is, I think with AI overall, you really need to start investigating this. I'm just getting into it a lot as well, because I think this is where the biggest gains are gonna be in outside of gaming crypto especially because it's super demand driven gaming crypto a lot of games are going to be in demand but a lot of it is going to be super duper hype driven i think we're going to see the same exact thing happen here as some ai products get super in demand when it comes to paying for data and moving data around and processing ai that it's also going to send a massive hype wave through ai and so i think if you've already been following what i've been talking about and getting in the gaming crypto this is where you want to look i just feel in my jellies that ai is going to start to move and really get the same momentum that gaming crypto has the other things i'm looking at as well is the last few weeks we've seen IDO after IDO after IDO. These are new coin offerings coming in people scoring 10, 20, 30 Xs. For example, Mavia just launched and everybody that got into that early, for example, everybody is in Neo Tokyo. I've talked about other videos. You should be, it should have been in there. They all go on the Mavia early and everybody's just really, really up on these right now. So again, I think launch pads like, for example, C Define Gaming, it's a bit down from where it was. I think it got up to like four... Where's it been in the last year or so? Got up to 418. I think it's gonna cruise right back up to four dollars, five dollars. I think that's gonna keep growing just because demand for IDOs is gonna get fever level. And like I've stated before, the little hidden gem here is paid network because the market cap is still just stupid small compared to where it was last bull run. And Kyle, the founder, I think Cedify has gaming IDOs and early coin access and seed investing pretty much locked in right there. Neo Tokyo also has the best early game investing in the space because of how powerful a network is in there. I'm not going to talk about Neo Tokyo too much in this video. It's already really hard to get into. If you want info on it, it's the link in the top of my Twitter bio. That said, Paid Network hasn't announced all the things they're going to be doing. And I think it's going to be one of the top launch pads coming up here soon. So I still think it's a little gem. And just like I pointed out with Cedify at the beginning of the run we're experiencing, so we were here about, you know, last year when I said, hey, get Cedify because as soon as the market comes back, people are going to get feverish for IDOs and ICOs and all those same things again. And when it starts moving, it, it starts moving. You know, that's how these launch pads work. So I'm still looking at the launch pad, Cedify, Paid are my main ones. But that, my degenerate friends, is what I think is going on in the market right now. The market's starting to move. I want to make a quick video just saying, hey, I, this is what I think we're looking at. I don't think this is a bull trap, just as we suspected you know, because we're always riding this channel, never wrong. But just as we thought was going to happen uh, a few months ago, nice big flat period starts going down a little bit. Everybody starts saying the bull runs over. I don't see how this bull run is going to stop. One in an election year when the administration, everybody running the government, they're all just corrupt as hell right now. They're just going to keep pumping the market. They don't want to go. They don't want to run against Trump or whoever the Republican candidate is with, with the market dropping. They don't want that. Nah, nah, they're not going to do it. We'll push the recession off till after. Two, China's just dumping tons and tons of money on the market. Three, the ETF got approved and BlackRock and all these institutions are buying just as predicted. It's even eating up all the supply that's being dropped by Grayscale. And in four, the stock market just keeps going up. There And there's so much sideline money because of all the money that's been printed in, in inflation that... It's just sitting all on the sidelines waiting to get in. And all this money is being made in the stock market. Once people get really horny there, they want to come down to crypto and make these gains. And now that Bitcoin is the entry drug that's offered in these portfolios, 
We can see an Ethereum ETF. We can see the halving coming up. There's just too much bull stuff to be sitting on the sidelines right now. Is there still massive risk in crypto? Of course, always. Yeah, if we get some recession or something bad, we're going to eat so much poo. It's going to be like a golden corral of poo. You just go in there and there's 50 flavors of poo and you're going to have to eat all of them. It's like your parents are really broke. They can only afford a golden corral and you get to go there once a month. You better just stock up. You're leaving with this buckets of poo. And that's all you get to eat for a month. That's what it's going to be like. I just, the risk right now is being sidelined because if you're sidelined right now and the market explodes, you're in a really, really hard spot. Like a worse spot than if you just take a little bit of risk or my, my, perspective right now is I'd rather take the risk and lose here than watch this market explode and miss an entire crypto bull run or have to buy in halfway in and just that would make me incredibly depressed way more than losing the funds I have in crypto right now so that's where that's where I'm swinging the bat from so that being said if you want updates and stuff faster you want to see what I'm thinking about the market projects I'm getting into you really shouldn't be watching my YouTube First and foremost, you should be following me on Twitter at ZSS Becker. That's where you can see everything I'm thinking like instantly instead of when I can make these videos. Top of that, follow me on Instagram. I talk about a lot of health, business, wealth stuff. I've done actually pretty well in business. That's where I actually make all my money and where 95% of my net worth comes from. You should follow me on Instagram if you actually want to be a realistic human being, not a degenerate gambler like we are on this channel. So that being said, I will see you next video.